You're watching Sipping Off the Cuff on tequilaaficionado.com, part of Tequila Aficionado Media. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California, and my partner in uh, the great, ta great state of Texas. Yes, because everything is bigger here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio, and Alex, you and I are, are uh, this thing came full circle because... Um, we, um, we had a, um, uh, a PR company called Nike Communications reach out to us, and they were really nice enough to send us Casadores. Casadores. This is, you know. The new if labels. Don't, if you don't recognize the bottles, I, you know, Alex, I remember when these bottles were, were the deer was hand painted, you know, and the antlers were a little crooked, and the eye was kind of off, and. Uh, you know, remember that? It was a Mexican deer. It was a, well, you know, one of their campaigns was Casadores, the one with the deer on it. You know, that was, that was the tagline. I don't know if it came from, from this current um, uh, the PR company or not, but uh, they were nice enough. They reached out. They, they wanted to nice. jump on board the, uh, you know, the, the sipping off the cup bandwagon. So this is our... For, for you and me, this is our first uh, try at, at the new and improved Bacardi Casadores. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, check that out. I had to tear, That's I had to break some mine. Some cool stuff on the bottle there. So they've been around since the 20s, 1922. Well, you know, um, they, uh, they have an interesting um, history. Uh Apparently, the way it goes way back in Arandas, Don Jose Maria. This is this is the this is the PR. The press. Is this the official the official story? Or another? It's a Highlands Tequila. So from Arandas. Right, right. We know it's a Highlands Tequila. Uh, it was founded by ooh, nice Don Jose Maria, a farmer from the Highlands of Jalisco, Mexico. Tequila Casadores is an authentic in is authentic in both origin and taste. The recipe was originally produced and is still being made in Arandas today and has not, it says, has not been altered since its creation. Is that what it says on the website? No, that's what it says on the, on the, on the information that the PR company sent to us. Oh, okay. This was their letter that they sent to us. The reason that they, that they actually reached out to us, Alex, is that um, Casadores will be... Uh, producing a, a large-scale uh, publicity campaign this summer. Okay. And um, our Casadores' uh, brand ambassador, uh, Manny Hinojosa, for those of you who know him, and, and we've been friended up on Facebook for a long time, he is also part of that, um, that campaign. So they're busy right now filming in, in Arandas, in, in uh, Tequila, and uh, he was nice enough to, to reach out to me as well. So we've got some information from him. So anyway, uh, according to this information, the Jose Maria's grandson, Jose Banuelos, created the brand Casadores. Uh, no, excuse me, Felix Banuelos. And, uh, and then they go on from there. My understanding is, according to this information, uh, they use uh, uh, proprietary yeast, and they continue to use the Mozart method. I remember that uh, Ingeniero Solis, uh, uh, Leopoldo Solis, and Gabriel Spindola, who invented the, the Mozart method that you yeah. and I love, say that they still continue to use the Mozart method. Really? Yeah. Even under... Even under, um, even under Casador. Uh, yeah, Bacardi. under Bacardi. Bacardi. Yep. Bacardi. Um, I'll, for those of you who haven't been following Casadores all these years, I'll give you a little bit more of a timeline Sorry. a little bit later on, but... What do you I think, think Alex? Play, it's got I think that... play a little Puerto Rican music. <clears throat> yeah, I know, huh? A little Baroque music? <laughs> no, Puerto Rican. Oh, Puerto Rican music. A little salsa. It's a real citrusy nose. Yeah, um, I get... I actually get a little bit of a, of the baked, a baked agave is what I'm yeah. getting. I get a lot of baked agave. Yeah, it, it's almost... It's it's let's put it this way it's almost uh, um, conspicuous. 
Yeah, you know, it, it, it tastes a little, it, that taste, it smells a little, well, I don't want to say synthetic might be a, a, a bad choice of words. It smells a little over the top, doesn't it? Or the, yeah. A lot of citrus. Now, by the way, you're, I'm using a, a Riedel glass for tonight, and, and Alex and is using his Glencairn. I love these Glencairns. Yeah, the Glencairns are, are really... There's, there's some big tears on this, legs and tears on this. Está and llorando. It's, yeah, and it, and it clings to the glass. It's really... Um, it's like glycerin. Uh, yeah, or, or like an añejo. You know, it's clinging to the glass like an añejo, which is... I, you know, it happens. It happens. Um, let's see here. Well, it's it's clean. It's it's got some 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 lemony or some lime notes, like green lime uh, notes, and it, a lot of the baked agave. To me, it's a little more of a the baked agave is over the top. Um, it's it's pristine though. It really is. It, it, yeah, it's, a, and it's it, the color. Yeah, very very clean, very pristine. Um, let's well, alcohol. Yeah, and you just opened yours. Well, mine, mine's a little bit has been open for like a week, maybe, but but it is. There's a lot of even with the Riedel, There's a lot of uh, alcohol at the bottom. No, it's not not very aromatic, like um, like I like the Blancos. Yeah, and and you know, again, this is an Arandas. It, it, the microclimate's a little bit different than Atotonico, Let's say, all right. I get almost like a little clay or clay or earth nose. All right, let's sip it. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> I gotta say, usually, if this isn't the Casadores, I usually don't sip. I'll go right into margarita. Well, you, um, the old Casadores, you know, if, if I remember correctly, and, and Alex and I were talking off camera, that I remember Casadores and Cabrito years ago were, were neck and neck. They, they, were, they were like the number one tequila and, and in tequila in, that, in, in Mexico and, and partially in the United States, and they were just neck and neck all the time. And, and then last year, Alex, you and I uh, tried Cabrito for the first time, really, on Sipping Off the Cuff. Or, uh, I think it was last year or year before. And, and that was very and good. It, it was just, it was really awesome. It was nice to, it was nice to, to have that, that really, that, that old-fashioned punch, you know, that, that you get from a reposado. Yeah, it's, it's a real um, old-school tequila. Yeah. You know, I'm getting really some perfume. I'm getting a little bit of a perfumey on the, on the. Yeah, it's starting to. Well, mine's starting to open up now. Okay. I uh, guess I, it was real, was real tight because it was in the. Well, yeah, you had just nope. opened yours, so. I, I'm getting like right here a, a layer of some sort of. You get a layer of, uh, of like yeah. a candy sweetness. You're right. It's actually pretty prominent. Oh, it, oh, probably on the Glen Cairn, it's it's opening up even better, because I'm still using the the Riedel, so I'm getting it just. Almost like a can, almost like a candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a hard candy. Um. Well, it's got to be from the. Well, we're gonna Alex and I again. We we talked about this uh, off camera, and and we're going to just for the sake of. Um, just for the sake of transparency, we're we're going we're going to admit something here. Um, I, I was I, I we were very fortunate to have Manny uh, uh, Manny Inojosa, who is the the brand ambassador for uh, Casadores, and and it, like I said, he is a big part of this new this summer uh, campaign publicity campaign for Casadores, and. This is the official word that I got from, from Manny. Um, tequila Casadores Reposado has been a staple brand in the tequila business in Mexico since the 1970s, putting the Reposado category on the map. Also in the U.S., um, 
if you if you haven't seen it on the shelves, there's also a uh, a, a, a añejo and an extra añejo available. Um, but the interesting thing is that we we know those of us in the business understand that that uh, Casadores is is produced with a diffuser. Okay, if you don't know anything about diffusers, go check our our website tequilaaficionado.com. We we go through it in depth. Uh, it, it's a it's a way of extracting. Uh, the juices from raw piñas and then cooking it all instead of cooking and then extracting. So Well, they do it one of, two, one of two ways, right? They either cook and then put it through the diffuser. Right. Uh, or, or raw, or raw, raw. diffuser. Right. Uh, the, the information I have here, the official word is the diffuser soft extraction, and these are in quotes, was installed and introduced uh, to the production of tequila cazadores by Banuelos family when the when the magueys were running low in the in in Mexico in the early 2000s. That was really the last major shortage. Uh, and it's about the same time, probably the same time that Herradura got their uh, diffuser. The system allows us to obtain up to 98 percent of the sugar content which in turn allows for higher alcohol production and sustainability of the agave plant. The diffuser is one of the most efficient ways to produce and extract rich sugars from the agave without jeopardizing the flavor profile of the tequila. Uh, the extracted fibers then go into a biomass boiler and they generate 60% of the energy used by the distillery um, and Tequila Casadores has created an example of sustainability for the world to follow. There is zero waste, is what they're, what they're claiming. Um, if you understand how the process of a diffuser works, you also understand that at the end of diffusion, at the end of distillation, is when they rectify the, the tequila. That's when you're allowed that one percent. One was it one percent or three percent? It's somewhere between one and yeah. three of additives to your tequila, and that's what we now have at, at Casadores. Um, is it versatile? Yeah, I mean, I got they were they were really cool. They sent us liter bottles, Alex. These are yeah. One point two. I was impressed. Yeah, the. You know, the, the artwork is nice. The labeling is nice. It, it really is a, a very slick. It's not anything what it looked like. This is silk screened onto the bottle. Oh, yeah, it's a modern. It's the modern Casadores. Yeah, it's the modern Casadores, and it's done with a, with a modern uh, diffusion method. Um, you know, it, it makes more tequila. And yeah, I mean, you're, you're extracting the, the starches. I mean... Sometimes they don't even cook the agave. They extract it. They they get the hot water on there. They extract you know all the uh, starches. Yeah. Uh, and then and then they they will autoclave the liquid. Yes. You know. It's, it's like you autoclave mush. <laughs> yeah. I don't... So you know you get I, I, I you know plus plus you get the, the the bitterness of the plant. So you got a lot, you basically got bitter agave syrup uh, that you're fermenting. Yeah, and it's not it's not being cooked first and like how originally it was, I guess meant to be. Yeah, Eradura Eradura uh, claims to use the diffuser after cooking. Um, they they weren't at the beginning and they were called on it and I think probably in the last few years I would say maybe the last five years let's say, they have claimed to be using it. Uh, uh, after they bake the uh, the piñas, and that would be probably in in their autoclaves. Um, whether they are or not, who knows? I, I mean, yeah. I can tell you right now. I I don't. This nose reminds me of donkey piss. Now, remember remember oh. when donkey piss was way over the top? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like a bag of sugar that kind of exploded up up in your nose. That's the powder like, sugar. Yeah, like powdered sugar. Um, hey, you know, it, it's, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, right? that's exactly what I was going to say. Too bad we don't have an old bottle of, of Casalotas to compare with. But I, I do know I, I, um, I enjoyed that. 
I think I enjoy the old the old version. I did too, um, but you know the does it have good structure? Yeah, it's got a little bit of a bitterness on the palate. Have you noticed that, Alex? It's kind of a, a little bit. like a uh, like a residue bitterness on the finish. Um, will it stand up to cocktails? You bet. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, I mean that's what it's for. Can you yeah, shoot it's it? Go, it's a go-to for cocktails. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, if you're looking for old school, what it used to be like in Arandas, unless you can find an older bottle that's that's pre-2000, you know, or, or right at 2000, 2001, because I, I believe Herradura started using a diffuser in 2001, and they did for 10 the old, years. The old, thin, the old thin yellow bottles. Yeah, the old thin the yellow, yellow bottles with the, the, the hand-painted deer with the crooked antlers. You know, <laughs> I, I love that stuff. I really miss it. You know, when, when once Bacardi bought the brand and it became so popular, um, you know, they, they slicked it out. And, and this was like, this is the, I think, the second or third iteration of, of the design. Um, but that's our take on Casa <laughs> You know, I don't know what else to say. Um, we want to be honest. You know, we, we want you all to know what it, what it is. It is what it is. It's probably, uh, pricing is probably very reasonable. It's under, it's under $20. Yeah. It's under twenty dollars. It's designed now to, to yeah. It's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent agave. Yeah. Obviously, you want to pick it up instead of a mixto. Oh, well, uh, for sure. You know, yeah, so yeah. you know, but um, you know, be smart, buy smart, uh, buy wisely. <laughs> yeah, you know, this <laughs> so you is this the, is a this you is don't a, get a headache. It could be a great gateway for for you know sure. an introductory tequila for those of you who are trying to introduce friends. Uh, to a tequila, you know, you get more bang for your buck when it's stuff like this. Um, as far as flavor goes, uh, unless you're really trained or you've had enough of these or you've had the old version of the juice, it'd be hard, it, you'd be hard pressed to pick anything out that was out of the out of the ordinary. It's wow. not offensive. I mean, we've had much worse on the show. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah. um, you know, it it really is. It is what it is. It's the new version, the new iteration for a new generation. And, yeah. Um, the one That's thing why you got this, the slick POS. Yeah. You, you'll have uh, you'll have the the whole campaign to look forward to all summer long. So watch them on on billboards, on on video, on YouTube. Uh, you know, Manny will be a big part of that as well. So, um, but anyhow, yeah. we'd like to hear what you think. Buy yeah. yourself a bottle. Yeah, check it out. It's you might like it. You know, some people do like uh, the the diffuser. Some don't even know that that's what's being used, and they like uh, that that flavor profile. And hey, that's okay too. Yeah, everybody's right. got everybody's got their own palate. Uh, Total Wine and More sells a Reposado for twenty one ninety nine. So I assume this has got to be right right under is that, that. Is that for full liter bottles or for the that's 70? for seven fifty? Wow, no kidding. That's so what's the, what does a liter go for? Just out of curiosity. So a liter, I don't... What's liter? Uh, I don't think they sell what we see. Oh, they do have a liter. Yeah. And these, are these liters? Well, this is the old bottle. They're showing the old bottle on this. Oh, uh, are this they? Here. A liter is twenty two ninety nine. Is that even... Wow, twenty two ninety nine for the Reposado. This is a this is a liter bottle, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe and this is maybe the liter size is the liter size. It could be a part of the the new campaign. It's it's the old it's the old uh, label though. Well, they haven't updated. You know, it's Total Wine. They haven't updated their their website. And They're the one five. That one jumps up. The sixty one ninety nine. The other pricing must be off. Yeah, their pricing has to be off because this is this is the new iteration. This is what you're probably going to see on the shelves yeah. out there, Casadores, really slick. And you know, hey, what can I say? That's that's our take on on Casadores. And Bever Bever Beverage Tasting Institute gave it a 92. What year? Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I was going to say. What year was that? <laughs> what year was that? Is right. 
maybe when it first came out. I don't know. Or when Beverage Tastings first had it in their uh, possessions. So. <laughs> possessions. Hey, you know what? Don't take our word for it, okay? If Really, it, it's, it's affordable enough to go experiment with. It really is. Sure. You know, we're train, just hard. We're just very hard to please. That's all. Yeah. Train your palate. <laughs> you know, if you want to know what a dif what a really well made diffuser tequila tastes like, because there are well made diffuser tequilas, and there are others that are just awful. And and honestly, for for a diffuser tequila, it's okay. You know. Not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, you know, but that's our take on, on tequila casadores. I'm Mike Morales here in San Antonio. I'm Alex Perez in Southern California. Thanks for watching Sipping Off the Cuff on TequilaAficionado.com. Let us know. Yeah, we're pointing to the area at the bottom of your screen. You're probably watching us on YouTube or on TequilaAficionado.com. Give us a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you remember the old Casalones. Maybe you've got a picture you want to post. Yeah, do yeah. so. Maybe you've got a whole collection of all the uh, iterations of Casalones. Yeah, it went through a few. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. As always, sick wise.